Hello, dear follower of Geometry Video Tutorials. You are welcome to this new edition of our video program. The aim and objective of this version of our tutorial is to show you how to export an ArchiCAD model from higher ArchiCAD version like ArchiCAD 22, ArchiCAD 23, and above to Atlantic Studio 5. Or you can also see it as how to render a higher version ArchiCAD model with Atlantic Studio 5. Or you can also see this uh, version of our tutorial as how to use Atlantis Studio 5 to render an architectural model designed with a higher version of ArchiCAD like ArchiCAD 22, ArchiCAD 23, and ArchiCAD 25. You might wonder, how come does one talk about uh, rendering an ArchiCAD uh, drawing with Atlantis Studio 5? You may think it's very easy, but I want you to understand that it is not all version of ArchiCAD uh, drawing that you render with Atlantis 5. Atlantis 5 can render ArchiCAD drawings like ArchiCAD drawing done with version uh, 17, 18, 19. Uh, even 16 as well. You can use uh, Atlantis Studio 5 to render drawings done with uh, ArchiCAD versions of such lower levels. But once it gets to ArchiCAD drawings done with ArchiCAD 22, ArchiCAD 23 and above, you cannot use Atlantis Studio 5 to render it. What do I mean by that? Let's look at this drawing on the board here. You can see this drawing is done with ArchiCAD 22. Now, I want to export this drawing from this ArchiCAD 22 to Atlantis Studio 5. What do I have to do? I will simply go to my file then, go to Save As. Now, when you come to this Save As, you check under this file type, when you log into it, you discover that uh, what you have here is um, the file type that you have here is Atlantis Render Studio 6.5 and 7. That means uh, you don't have Atlantis Studio 6, uh, Atlantis Studio 5 uh, bridge here. It means that you cannot export this particular model to Atlantis Studio 5. Now, I also have another drawing here done with Atlantis uh, ArchiCAD 18. This is an ArchiCAD 18, ArchiCAD 18, 64, 18. This is an ArchiCAD um, 18 uh, model. Now, if I want to export it to Atlantis Studio 5, I'll simply go to my file here and down, then from this file, I'll move down to my savers. Now, if you click down these savers, you come down to this uh, file type. You click this file type, you'll have that you have Atlantis, uh, uh, Atlantis Studio 4.1 and Atlantis uh, Studio 5. It means that uh, ArchiCAD 18 has a bridge with Atlantis Studio 5 and Atlantis uh, 4. But in this ArchiCAD 22, ArchiCAD 22 does not have a bridge with Atlantis 5. The only bridge it has here is from 6.5. Uh, Atlantis 6.5, 7, and above. It also means that if you have in your uh, your system Atlantis 6, you cannot export this uh, ArchiCAD model of higher version to Atlantis 6. What it means is that you can't render, you can't render uh, this model done with ArchiCAD 22 with Atlantis 6. If you try uh, exporting it to Atlantis 6, it might work somehow, but you cannot render it. It will not render. It will not render in Atlantis 6. It simply means that this drawing done with ArchiCAD 22 can only be rendered by Atlantis 6.5, Atlantis 7, Atlantis 8, Atlantis 9. But now, in this particular tutorial, I want to show you how to export this drawing that is done with Ankega 22 to Atlantis 5. That is the interesting thing about it. Another observation that is very interesting that you note is uh, contained in your local uh, file. Let's let's exit this uh, let's exit uh, this drawing board. Let's just minimize our drawing board. Let's minimize. Let me show you something. Now, if you come to this your PC on your desktop, then Open this your PC, go straight to your local disk. In this your local disk, uh, move to your program file. Now in this your program file, you have your graphics soft. Now click on ArchiCAD 18 here. Then inside this ArchiCAD 18, go to your add-on. Down in this your add-on, move to your import and export. Now keep this particular uh, folder apart. Let's go back and open this PC again. And then repeat the same thing we did previously. Look at this, and then you move the program file, then to your graphics soft, then to ArchiCAD 22. In this ArchiCAD 22, go to the add-on, then move down to your import and export. What we are trying to compare here is the, the add-on of ArchiCAD 22 and ArchiCAD 18. This is uh, the add-on, the add-on in ArchiCAD uh, 18, and the add-on in ArchiCAD uh, 22. Let's compare it. Let me show you something very interesting here, so that you can know the difference between ArchiCAD 18 and ArchiCAD 22, and why you cannot use ArchiCAD um, Atlantis 5 to render a higher version of our uh, ArchiCAD model. Now, if you check here, you observe that we have 3D, 3D Studio out here. You also have it here. Now, in this ArchiCAD 18, you have Atlantis Render 4, Atlantis Render 5. But here, in ArchiCAD 22 uh, add-on, what you have here is uh, Atlantis Render 6.5 and 7 out. Meaning that you cannot use, uh, you cannot, uh, there, is no, there is no bridge between this ArchiCAD 22 and Atlantis 5. But between this ArchiCAD 18, you have bridge for Atlantis 5 and Atlantis 4 here. You also have other uh, file types that you can match with ArchiCAD 18 here, like you have SketchUp in and out. But this SketchUp in and out depends on the version of the SketchUp. Likewise, in this ArchiCAD 22, you also have a bridge with a SketchUp in and out here. 
Uh, this SketchUp here can only work for 18, uh, 17 I mean, not 18. The version of SketchUp, that is SketchUp here, um, uh, 17. But here, uh, you don't have the SketchUp that works here is newer versions of SketchUp in Archicad 18. Now, comparing these two uh, versions of Archicad, they are add-on, you observe that you can only use Archicad 18. You can only match a drawing. You can export a drawing from Archicad 18 to Atlantic Studio 5 and Atlantic Studio 4, but you cannot export it to Atlantic 6. Now, in this Archicad 22, you cannot export a drawing from Archicad 22 here to Atlantis 5. Why? Because the bridge does not exist in Archicad 22, as you can see in Visa add-on. Take note of that. Now, let's go back to our drawing board in Archicad 22. You can see this is Archicad 22. Let's go back to it. Now, we want to export this drawing. Like I said, we want to export it to Atlantis 5. How possible is that? Now, watch out as we do that. Now, what you do is move to your file here. Click on it and scroll down to your savers. And this savers, once it opens, the first thing you do is uh, click on your desktop. When you click on your desktop, add a folder. And give a name to that folder. Let's say, uh, date. Let's just type the name git and the name of the folder. And then open this uh, folder. The folder is open. Then choose the file type you want to change. You want to export it to so that it will open in Atlantis file. To do that, look at the file type you choose here. Look at this 3D Studio file. Can you see it? Choose this 3D Studio. When you choose this 3D Studio, when you click on it, it appears like this. And then, uh, give a name to the file. Like here, I have a OT hotel. Then click save. The moment it opens like this, make sure you pick this, you, you check this particular box. Don't pick this. Don't pick this first one. Now, the reason you shouldn't choose this particular, uh, box is because, uh, the texture of the materials with which you did your design, like in this Archicad, uh, uh, model, you have brick wall here, you have this materials. If you choose this particular, uh, box here, now, when you open the drawing in Atlantis 5, the texture of these, uh, materials you use in your design will be absent. That is why you don't check this box. You pick this box. The moment you pick this box, you click on, you also check this box, and then click OK. And allow the drawing to transport to the position you want it to be. Now, the object has been saved in the necessary folder where you want it to be. What we just did now is we just converted this um, Archicad uh, model to an object, 3D Studio object, because we know that Atlantis 5 can open a 3D Studio model. Now, let's minimize this uh, drawing board and open our Atlantis 5. Let's open our Atlantis 5. Let's be patient as Atl Atlantis 5 opens. Now, our Atlantis 5 has opened. The moment it opens like this, the next thing you do is click at this icon here. These are symbol of uh, Atlantis. You click on it and move down to open. Then from this open, scroll down to import file. Click on it. The moment it opens, move down to, you, you go to your desktop and check for the, check for the folder. Of course, this is the folder where we saved it. Click on it, that is it. It opens, you can see it is OT Hotel. Click on it. And then click open. Make sure that the file type that is located here is 3D Studio file. Because you see the object as 3D Studio file. Then click open. Then make sure this, the light, the camera and the lights are checked. Then click import. And exercise patience as it imports the model into your Atlantis 5. Now, the moment it imports it into Atlantis 5, this is the first challenge you're going to have. Because it will bring out all these, uh, material with which you did the model in Archicad. Now, once you have this, uh, dialog box open like this, just click on the folder. Once this folder opens, go to your drawing, uh, your desktop, start in your desktop, the folder where you save that object, that is here, click on it, then click OK. It will eliminate this, then run this, repeat the same thing again, folder, move down to your, to gate, click on it, click OK, then eliminate that one, repeat the same thing until all of these, uh, material with which you did the archicad drawing are completely eliminated. Do not skip. Do not click on continue until all these materials here, like you have granite, pavement, siding, metal, until all of them are eliminated by the same process. Repeat the same thing again. Now this is the last one. The moment you click on it, it will open on itself. The drawing will open finally. Mm -hmm. And watch out as the drawing opens finally. The moment it opens, it will appear as a white model. The whole background will be white. What to do in that case is just move up to this portion here and uh, check it on, change it from non to heliodon. Once you change it to heliodon, the whole thing will, the whole uh, drawing board will come to black. Then first thing you do is go to your settings here. 
in this is your setting, uh, go to your rendering size, move it to full HD, then you can change this resolution to let's say 100 or above, then click these uh, anti alias and make sure you check it on and uh, then what else do you need here, okay, you can move it to high radiosity, physical camera you can change this to uh, exterior lighting and then click on save as before then click ok, then the background is still black, why is it black? The reason why it is still black is because of the time. In the Archicad drawing board, Archicad drawing board works with time. So it has a particular time that it copied straight. It exported it straight to your drawing. That time is either it is in the evening. That is why it is dark. So what do you do? Move to your period on here. You can see it is by the, the it was done at 4 p.m. or 4 a.m. in the morning. So uh, you know during 4 a.m. in the morning, the cloud is still dark. It is difficult to see the uh, any building or anything around. So what do you do? Change the time to so let's say 9 o'clock in the morning. And also click here at zero. Oh, of course, you can see the how it just turned into uh, daylight. So that is that. You can also click on this your preview size. Keep clicking on it as it widens well, and you can minimize this so you can minimize that uh, board so that you can have full view of your uh, 3D model. So with this, you can proceed with the rendering with the um, uh, editing you can want to do on the drawings, and after that editing, you can then render it. So this is how you can export your Africa drawing to from a higher version of Africa to Atlantis Studio 5. Without this process that we've just used now, it is very difficult and in fact very impossible to use um, Atlantis Studio 5 to render a drawing done with Africa 22, Africa 23 and above. Once again, I want to remind you that uh, Geometech uh, is fully dedicated to making you, helping you to resolve every little issue you have with Africa and Atlantis when it comes to as a beginner in architecture. If you have little challenges in your drawings and your design, the aim and objective of Geometech in YouTube is to help you resolve these uh, little problems.